Hey there, I'm out for my morning walk with my dog and I just had the intuitive hit to jump on here and do a quick video about how to increase your in income sustainably and consistently. And that for me, as a longtime entrepreneur, over 20 years of being an entrepreneur, that is important to me because I cannot always be in launch mode because I can't always be in the cycle of making stuff happening and happen and hustling. So this is for any of you, hey Deb, welcome. Any of you who really desire to have sustainable and consistent income because it's so much more fun from my perspective than being in launch mode every other month or once a month. So I wanna speak a little bit into what that can look like because that's a lot of what we do in my Grow Your Empire Mastermind program is we really look at what behaviors or beliefs or ways of being actually cause you to create more sustainability and frankly stability in your business. All right, let's dive in. So there are a couple of things that I wanna lift up for you. The first is that if you're already established in business, so if you've been in business for two to five years, you've got the basics of marketing handled, you figured out how to have sales conversations, you've got pretty good income coming in, you like your products and your services, but you just want to take it to the next level and you're not exactly sure how and maybe your income has actually plateaued or stalled out or your sales have started moving backwards, that's a sign that there's something that needs to shift within you, right? Like if there's something going on inside of you, there is no amount of marketing strategy or sales funnels or new programs or what have you that are going to get you the results that you desire if the issue stems from within you, right? Like you got to start with a clear mind and body and heart. I'm actually in the middle of doing a 28 day detox right now. I'm at the end of my first week because I was feeling that I wasn't as clear as I possibly could be to show up fully in my life and my business. So I'm actually doing this detox to support my body with getting on board with what I want to create in 2019. So that's an example of getting yourself into alignment. Um, and frankly, I was kind of out of it for a couple of days last week because who the detox is cleansing my liver and my liver apparently needed to be cleansed. <laughs> so I was remarkably tired, but I feel like I have got my mojo back on this week. So let's go back to this topic of consistent and sustainable income in a way that feels good, that's life-giving. So if that's happening for you, if you're feeling like you're stuck or you just don't know how to take the leap to the next level, you've got the basics of your business handled, you know who your target market is, you know how to speak to them, that kind of thing, and you want to take it to the next level, what do you do? It's all about shifting who you are and how you're showing up in your business because what's really interesting is that a lot of us and I certainly did this, do this thing towards the beginning of our business where we're really into like pushing and hustling and striving and getting all the things, the bells and whistles figured out in our business. And then we get to an income goal and all of a sudden that way of being doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work because we're burnt out, we're fatigued. Uh, it's just not super exciting to us once we've reached that first income level to do things the way that we used to. You know, the 60-hour, 80-hour work weeks don't feel fun anymore. <laughs> Hopefully, they should not feel fun ever. But you get to this point in your business where doing that just isn't juicing you anymore. Hey, Jane, welcome. So at that point, what you really want to look at is how it is that you want to show up in your business how you want to be in your business that's going to allow better results to come to you. And for those of us who are serious action takers, who can take action all day long, this is, it feels like um, free falling or jumping out of an airplane to go from the pushing and making things happen to really the releasing 
the surrender that's actually required to get new results in your business. And if you're hearing this for the first time, it can sound a little um, outside the box. It can sound a little woo-woo. It can sound a little like, hey, that's a cool idea, but I don't think that's actually going to work for me. So I hear that. But hang in there with me. Because what you want to create is sustainable long-term results for your business. You don't want the biz you to be working for the business. You want the business to be working for you. You don't want to fit your life in between all the business activities. You want your business to fit into your life. And in order for that to happen, you've got to choose a different way of being in your business. And that can require learning how to let go and surrender and trust and receive and allow in an even deeper way than you have ever done before. Like your faith is going to be tested. Your relationship with yourself is going to be tested. Your relationship with your business is going to be tested. Being in that deep, deep surrender. And a lot of us, I certainly can attest to this, resist that, right? Because we think, well, that's not proactive. You're still taking action in your business. This isn't about avoiding taking action. This is about showing up in a different way in your business as you're taking action. But that can be really terrifying because it's not what we're taught, at least here in the U.S., in terms of work ethic. It's not what a lot of us were raised to believe. In our families of origin, we were raised to believe that you have to work hard all of your life and then you die. And if you're stepping into a different possibility, if you're stepping into a different paradigm, it can be really terrifying. So what I want to say to you, if you're an established business owner and you're feeling like you can't keep doing business the way you have been, maybe you're not getting the types of results that you used to, that the answer is not more marketing strategy, more sales funnels, um, hiring a marketing consultant, going out and launching a brand new program. The first thing that you need to do is to look at how you're showing up in your business what you need to change about who you are and what you believe is possible. Because if you believe it's possible to receive and allow, if you believe it's possible to work 20 hours a week and have a multi six figure, seven figure business, if you believe it's possible that clients will eagerly come looking for you or customers, then that's the first step in creating those types of results. But if you don't believe it's possible, you'll never have it. So that's a sneak peek into some of the things that we talk about in my Grow Your Empire Mastermind program. We're really looking at that inner game, at how you're showing up as the leader of your business so that you can grow your empire, whatever empire looks like or means to you. It's all about taking your business to the next level. And doing that requires you to literally change the paradigm in which you're viewing yourself and your business. So I want to invite you to check out more information about Grow Your Empire. Go to emmachurchman.com forward slash empire. I'll put a link in the comments below as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this too. This is a little bit of a paradigm shifting conversation. I'd love to know how this content landed with you. All right, many blessings. Bye for now.